Right, I've taken a few pictures. Here's the cave entrance. This cave, by the way, this entrance, which is carrying on, actually lines up with the tower. I've just spotted the tower and taken photographs of it up there. And this seems to line up with it. So that's interesting, a secret way into the tower. It's all rather spooky, isn't it, really? Imagine this place at night. And here we've got a number three on the pole. And as I was walking past number three, I was just looking, saw the gate. Then suddenly I started to see it come into view, the tower. And I got here, I could see it clearly. And it's up there. I'll just zoom in. I've been to the tower. There's a big track on the top. And that cave entrance lines up exactly with that tower. So... <clears throat> Although I'm not going to do it today, I will come back another time and go up the top. And I'll do it in the winter, where there's less, less, even more of less vegetation. Go back up to the town, have a look round that way. And then see if I can go along the top further than I did before. So I got as far as those cages before. But there was, and there was a path going further down. It wouldn't, isn't far. It's, I'm just being careful today. I'm not overdoing it. I'm not out... I'm not out doing my welcome, put it that way. I'm a visitor. And in the winter, it'd be easier to get up. I'd never seen that before because it was thick vegetation, all the ivy, brambles, everything, hide in the tower. But I've seen it now. But of course, it's disappeared again. It disappears very quickly. So there was a small area that near that number three, and I can see it again. In through there, right up the top there, through those branches, it will be fuzzy, but that's the tower up there. It'd be a shame if it was open today, wouldn't it? Someone had opened it. That would be really disappointing. There's nothing to stop me weaving up there and having a look from the top. But I'm not going to, because it's a long way home and the weather will turn as soon as the sun starts to drop. So anyway, that was good. Every time I come out, I always find something new. So although someone will say, Oh, Sheila, we've been along there before. We've seen your other videos. But what people don't do, they are looking with their eyes they're not listening to what I'm saying always so they miss the, the complete story because I, it was a completely different situation when I first walked here because I'd never been here before it was all new to me see there's lots of ways up now you wouldn't risk it in the summer because ticks I mean even today a ticks could suddenly think oh let's pop out for one last feed now I've just seen a pheasant. Look, there he goes. He thought he'd escaped. He was huddled behind that branch there. I was talking about ticks at the time. It could be the ticks would say, because it has been mild, don't forget. Let's just hope we can get somebody on this last feed before the real Arctic weather comes. Not that we really get really Arctic weather, because I'll tell you what, over the past few years, I would say the past... 10 years really, it has been getting warmer. November has been getting warmer and warmer. Now, I haven't really quit put my heat in on what I call, call all, all the time in the day. I'm still only putting it on for short periods when I'm having my evening meal. Zara lives in a freezing flat at the moment, so she comes in for a bit of warmth when she has her dinner. Another way up there, look. It's not saying you can't go in. It's just saying danger, keep your dogs out and all that. They, they do that. So they don't really want people in there. 
Yes, and I've just noticed that um, it has been warmer. But what my theory could be that the electric companies know this as well. And what they'll do, because they'll think they're losing money, they'll put the prices up to compensate for the, you know, increase in um, temperature of the weather. They would just say, right, well, we'll put up, we'll increase the tariff. So you still won't be any better off. So you might think, oh yeah, it's a lot warmer, I don't have to use so much heating. But then they'll charge you, they'll charge you for whatever you use more. That's a theory of mine. Because this is what big businesses do, they're not running for free. And if people aren't, everyone's cutting back. A lot of people have lost their jobs at the moment with the COVID. Um, everyone's having to cut back. Oh, some more of this um, netting here. I wonder what they keep in there then. They must keep some sort of animals in there. Someone has done some tidying up again. This is way up there. See? It's not exactly saying you can't go. It's not exactly saying. Because well, look, that hasn't got a padlock on it. And it's saying there, keep dogs on lead. Young birds. So I, I do believe that you're probably allowed to walk around there. That would be a different visit. Today is just a general scan. There's something going on in there that maybe they are breeding animals in there, like birds. Maybe it is a type of bird sanctuary. They've got all those blue bins everywhere. Yeah, I reckon it might be a type of bird sanctuary. Oh, I can smell the silage, you know. I can smell the silage. Right then, we're back down near the farm again now. Crook's Peak. We are having a lovely walk. Lovely fresh air. I mean, I felt quite asthmatic um, the last couple of days. And um, especially this morning. And I just know the dust is going to be really being created by the work they've got to do. And it's going to be cold because we're going to have to have the doors and windows open. Lots of pheasants. Lots of pheasants flying about. Loads of them. Pheasant paradise, this is. Oh, there's one. Loads of them. Must be about 20 or 30. No more. So I'm back on the farm. I can smell the silage. God. All the machinery. I just gotta find my way back to the main track now. Quite a stink. Great I feel there's somebody's over there this time. That's wind blowing or a bloke doing work. Right, let's turn off for a minute. Right then, I've come up the old bridal path, very muddy and mucky, but every now and again someone's done a little pathway into the hedges. This example there, I didn't have to walk through that. There's a little path. You have to look out for it. 
<sighs> Obviously you've got wellies on, it don't make any difference. And it'll happen again in a minute, up here a bit, where it'll go off, because there'll be a huge puddles. This is the bridle path that leads down to the Banwell area and there the woods and all that sort of thing where I've just come from if you go down there and then this in a minute will take me up to the plantation it's called and um, over towards Canada Coombe you can either go down Canada Coombe to Hutton if you say you want to get the bus now and you had enough if you could get a bus that is or you can go through Hutton Woods, like I do, so over the golf course and down to Bleeden. And that's, the, that's plan A for me. It's a day out. And there's the big puddle. That I suppose that's quite deep. So, fortunately somebody, every now and again, has made these little bypasses. And they will get muddy as well. They, these, because the horses are doing it. Even the horses are coming through here. So in the end, these will be quagmires. Once the water comes up and flows into here, it'll all become a, one massive quagmire. You can see the horses use this. Don't let the horses get wet. There's things you can see, or you don't, you don't really see. You don't. I can see a little robin over there. Um, he's perched on the wall. Don't know if I'll get in on time. There's a little robin there, look. He's got his territory. There he is, through there. Little robin. He's just flown off now, but there's like a little sealed off area there. I mean, it could have been a building once. These are things you spot once winter comes and you can see what's behind walls and vegetation. I suspect there was a little barn back there, I suspect. So this is the plantation ahead of me. It's all been described before on other videos. In the past I've been all in these fields as well, by the way. There isn't much I haven't done. Um, and of course this is local. Weston's only just over there. But it might be local, but you've still got a hike to get out there. Um, See, if I still had Alberta I, on a day like this, I would have been out over um, Pretty Way, walk, walking around there, Ebber Gorge and um, the different little woods that are over Pretty Way. Oh, is somebody else coming now? Two people on horses. Let's turn off a minute. There's Robo Warren over there in the distance. So, see the trees? It's Robo Warren. One of my big landmarks, of course. Shipham and Robo. Some horses, just let the horses go on. If you follow up round here, you go around the plantation that way. Um, I'm not going to do that today. I don't think I am. Um, do you want to go that way? That would be straight down the road then, Sheila. No, we'll go this way. We'll go this way. We'll go through the wood. Two big horses gone by. Great big, well not huge, but they're still quite big. Like cart horses. They've stopped again now, so I'll have to stop. There is a track that goes up round there and I've seen some beautiful horses in here once. Last time I came, I think, I took lots of photos of them with big manes, lovely big horses. Um, but there's a track that goes up round that way and that probably takes you to Hutton up round there. But it's not on it is not a right of way. They 
we've moved on again. So this is the plantation, private wood. Um, I've never really looked into its history exactly. I ought to really. Maybe I'll do it this time when I get back, when I'm putting footnotes. Okay, over and out. Small video footage in Hutton Woods, skirting Hutton Woods. I've come down Canada Coombe a minute ago, climbing up through the wood, just got through the gate there. There's a big field. Sun's really bright, really warm. It's t autumn, as you can see. Um, I think it's a couple of months. I think it was September I might have come. Right, the battery just went flat. I had to change batteries. So what I was saying, I've just come over from Canada Coombe. I'm skirting Hutton Wood now. I've just come through that gate. It was a sunny day a second ago and quite warmish. So I'm skirting Hutton Wood, which is now fully in autumn swing for at least another month till the 21st of December and then we enter winter real. So it's still not winter yet, although people are treating it as winter. It's been relatively mild. So it's about the 19th of November 2020 and I had to get out for a nice walk. We had a terrible storm in the night. Um, but today I thought I'll get out while you can because um, it's going to change again and it's going to get colder. So I thought, well, while this window of opportunity is here, um, take it and come out. So I just think some two people coming up behind in a minute. I'll just wait here for a sec. Let's do a little bit of video while I'm waiting. And there's a nice bush there over there, look, with lots of red berries on it. Very Christmassy looking, isn't it? Somebody in front of me. Just let her move on a bit. On it. I just got to focus in the lens. Yeah, seems to be okay. So the sun's come back out. I just seen somebody come through the wall there. Um, young girl. I don't know. She's probably been listening to my conversation. But anyway, basically, I thought, oh. <coughs> Get out while you can, <clears throat> because the weather's going to change. And I really needed the air today. Re I need it every day, but I just stand here for a minute. There's quite a nice view here of the field. The plantation right over there where I walked near not long ago. And the, this is the lovely little wood. That is um, <coughs> bathing in the autumn sunshine at the moment. I'm not going to the village of Hutton. I'm not going to go and try and wait for a bus over there and then start getting cold. I'm going to carry on walking back towards Weston. So I've already prepared my mind for that. Um, no, I'm preparing myself for that walk rather than think about I don't feel too bad my legs aren't aching I mean I got a bus over to Banwell area before getting up into the the wooded area walking around it um, not the hill fort one the first wooded area and uh, that was very very pleasant as well you can see people walking about. Maybe they're looking for magic mushrooms. Someone else wandering about now. Bloke. There was a girl. I don't know where she's gone. Yeah, you've got to be careful when you're up here, you know, because there are weirdos about. 
and she's probably gone now. I can see her walking ahead. Right, I'm going to turn off for a minute, folks. Just have another look round. There's a man walking about. I mean, some people look for magic mushrooms up here, you know. He might not even have spotted me. Right, I'm going to carry on walking and do my coat up. Just turn off a minute. 